Our next defensive segment starts live now with the ball and going hard and defending a person, just like the eight second drill, except we're going to stay in the four quadrants. Usually we would have this side of the court being worked on as well. But we'll have one on one going through here, and it's called half court, half court, because we have to stay within the half court setting and half of the half court width wise so that we're not running into one another. It's an old drill that usually is done half court, full court. We like the intensity that it puts in by going 47 feet. So we'll look at both sides. They'll be going at the same time, partnered up. On the way back, they'll just change assignments. One will be the offensive player, the other one will be the defensive player. It's good. Good, Drew. It's where to push him, Corey. Go ahead. Stay down. Stay down, Matt. Hand wide, Matt. Hand wide. Good. Stay down. Stay down, Brad. You can see in this drill that they do have to get out of their shuffle step. Brad's got good quick feet at defense. But you can see that they still need to run from time to time to regain that, that uh, position of staying between them and where they're going to. Good push. Good push, Drew. Come on, Matt. Matt, again, is a 6'6 kid that's guarding smaller force here. Got nice feet. Make sure you run, Matt, when you have to. Don't lose that leverage. Down low, Brett. Down low. Low, ready to run. OK, hold it up. I, in terms of emphasizing the dog step now, what I want you to do is I want you to start, Nate, even with him. So, so if I'm here with Drew, I'm going to start in this position right here. So I'm giving him a little bit of a head start. So I've got to run just in the dog step force passion to get back in front of him and regain my balance. All right, same thing for you. Run, get there, and then square up. Good. Same things for you, Ryan. You guys run to get back that leverage position. Get back, get your shoulders square, Matt. Shoulders square, Ryan. That's it. Now you got him under control. Stay down. Ready to run again. Ready to run again. Good. Cannot stay in that shuffle. You got to run, Brad. Run to get him back. That's it, Corey. Run. Shoulders square. Don't gamble. Don't gamble. Run. Run, Matt. Get there, run. Good feet, good feet, good feet. Okay, stop. One of the things that we try to do in these drills is always get back to a stance where we have our shoulders square. Coach Rod, my assistant coach down there in the baseline, was the best defensive point guard two years ago when at Christian Heritage College we had a chance to go back to the national tournament and knock off the number one team in the nation, Transylvania, and make our way to the final four. And it was because a lot of his defensive pressure on the ball, and he's been working really good with our point guards along that same line. But every person here has that same ability. So whether it's being picked up at the wing position or initiating the offense from the point guard position, we just don't want them to take penetration. We want them to go southeast, southwest, but not directly south to the basket.